Okay, so you've got your drum doctor, and no doubt you've played around with that a bit. But um, the tutorial today is going to show you how to make 10 millisecond triggers. Now, there's several ways you can do this. Um, you can use an envelope or an LFO. But what I'm going to be using here today is the 4MS RCD. That's this one. Now, the reason is um, for using this is because uh, whatever you put into this, the pulse width will be the same on the output. So um, this is optimal because I, don't know, I only have to make one trigger to clock it and then all the outputs will be 10 milliseconds or whatever I set them to. So I'm going to be using, for my clock, I'm going to be using the end of rise on the maths. Now you can use anything. And I'm going to connect this to the gate input on an MFB dual ADSR. And uh, you can see this is already triggering. Now I've got my scope hooked up over here to a multiple. So I'll just plug the output of this of the MFB into the scope and we can take a look at that. Now when that settles down, we can see the the reticle divisions are set to 10 milliseconds. Um, the controls on the MFB are all set to zero. So we have a very skinny pulse. This is actually less than 10 milliseconds. Now with the dual, dual ADSR by MFB, the, um, it's got quite a nice parameter is this hold parameter. This actually holds the attack stage. So if um, we look at this on the scope, and I'll turn up the hold very slowly. And you can see that we can actually create just, this is just by adjusting the one parameter. We've got a nice 10 millisecond trigger. Um, that's only on the MFB. Um, let's have a look at doing this on a Dopfer ADSR. Let's take the output. This is on the A115. This is the dark energy, basically. But um, let's see, ADSR output. I need a longer cable here. Just grab another patch cable. And we'll take end of rise out from the maths to the gate for the ADSR. And we'll set the gates, the ADSR to as fast as possible. And let's turn all the controls down and have a look back at the scope. And we've got a very, very skinny pulse because uh, the ADSR on this can go very fast. So we can adjust, um, let's see, I'll adjust the, the decay until we get a 10 millisecond pulse at the edge here. And this will work just as well for uh, driving the RCD. So uh, let's see. Let's take the output of this multi and plug this into the RCD. Now let's get some cables sorted out. And I'll take the first clock division and I'll plug that to the Drum Doctor accent. This will give us an accent on every step of the way. And let's take another cable and hook that into number four so we can go four and four with the bass drum. Let's plug that in to the Drum Doctor. And let's put on the eighths. We'll go and to the snare. I mean, this is a very, very basic techno style pattern. Four, four, and yeah, you know. Um, number seven, we'll plug into the symbol. And uh, the other two we'll just put into open hi-hats and closed hi-hats. Open and closed. Let's see. And closed. Look in some sound. And we've got speed control. And of course we can adjust the trigger size. with the ADSR. 
And it's that simple. Now, if you don't have a spare radius R, I'm pretty sure you're going to have a spare LFO. So instead of using, um, let's switch that to saw. Instead of using the alias R output, we could use the LFO one. And of course, sometimes, you know, slower, it's going to be sort of kind of slewed, faster. So that's using a triangle LFO. If you use a square LFO, it's not going to sound right. But of course, you can use this to effect. But if you want the best control, you would use uh, an ADSR. Now, like I said, the, the, the MFB one is quite good because it has the hold parameter for the attack stage, which is quite handy to make you know perfect size triggers. But you can use uh, a normal radius are and of course you can go crazy I mean this is down to the RCD and if you've got the RCD breakout of course you can change from triggers to gates and you can reset different divisions um, And of course, you know, the sky's the limit there. And that should really help you get started. Alright, that's it, I'm out. I'll catch you next time.